let's hook up the van and get ready for that weekend away. So there is a lot to remember when hooking up a caravan. There's a seven pin plug, an Anderson plug, your breakaway system, your two chains, and of course your actual hitch and making sure you put that on correctly. Not to mention working your jockey wheel and storing of your handle somewhere. A lot of these things seem like a mundane task, but if you forget one of them, it can ruin your trip before it even begins. First up, get the vehicle lined up with the van and back it into position. If there is someone guiding you, make sure they're standing off to the side, not in between the vehicle and the caravan itself, because that can be a crush point and can be quite dangerous. A really good habit to get into is the person that drives the tow vehicle hooks the van up so they know it's all done and all done correctly. The DO35 hitch fitted to all UEVs works the same way as a 50mm ball. As long as the vehicle is pretty close to a line, it will drop down and centre locate itself onto the pin. Once it is down onto the pin and the full weight of the van is down on the car, push the locking button in, watch the mechanism lock onto the actual pin itself, be sure to fit the plastic dust cover back in place as it's a really good visual way of knowing that everything is secured correctly to the vehicle. All UEVs are fitted with an ARC 750 XO jockey wheel. These are massively adjustable and also swing up out of the road. They do locate the wheel into a pin so that it doesn't hang down and get caught when going off road and the handle is fully removable. But be sure to put it somewhere safe because if you do lose that handle between now and when you pull up at camp, it could be a real bugger to get that van off your car. At this point, you wanna plug in the seven pin plug to activate all your tail lights and your Anderson plug to charge the van while you're driving down the road. Also, don't forget to hook up the lanyard for the breakaway system as this will activate the brakes in an event where the van detaches from the tow vehicle. Don't forget to hook up your chains and be sure you cross them over underneath the hitch point of the vehicle. So in the event that the van does fall off, it acts as a cradle and catches the drawbar of the van before it hits the road. Now everything is fully secured, release the handbrake, and we're nearly ready to head off on that adventure. Do a walk around the vehicle and the van, make sure you haven't forgotten anything. Be sure to check out your brake lights, all your tail lights of your van are working, including the blinkers. And as you're driving away, just hit the override button on your electric brakes, giving the brakes in the van a bit of a test before you hit the open road. Safe travels.